How you going guys? Welcome back to another video. On this one, I'll be painting a Honda motorbike. I'm not exactly sure on how big this motorbike is, but looking at the frame and the tank, this bike is quite small. Uh, now with that said guys, uh, I did do quite a few little repairs on this bike yesterday. It's all been primed. We've got a forklift out there beeping. If you can hear that beep, I do apologize. Now, in this video, guys, um, I'll quickly show you exactly what I got done yesterday on this bike. Um, it's all ready to start painting now. Um, so here we've got uh, a little bit of HS primer on either corner here. So we had a couple of little dents. Um, I fixed them. I'll throw some footage up right now of me doing that. Uh, apart from that, the frame has been sanded down. Uh, it's all ready to be painted pretty much. We're just gonna sand those two little corners. Um, regarding the tank, I've just covered um, it in black base coat just so I can see what's been sanded and what hasn't. So now this tank uh, out of the box uh, had a little bit of damage on it. So I repaired it and primed it yesterday. So it's pretty much ready to be sanded down and painted in this video. So to give you guys a quick rundown of the prep that I'll be doing on this tank, because it is a HS primer, uh, I will be sanding it down in a 240 grit on a block, making sure that it is all nice and straight. Uh, I feel pretty confident that it is because I did do the repairs on it. Um, so I'll be sanding that down with 240 to remove those 240 scratches because we can't put our base coats and our candy over top of 240. I will be sanding it down with 400 grit after the 240. That will remove those 240 scratches and allow me to put my base coat and candies on over the top without having any scratches visible in the base coat and the candy. Now with that said guys, I've also got a headlight bucket here, which was bare metal. Um, I put that in the DNA Paints Epoxy. So that just uh, needs to be uh, primed now uh, in the HS Primer and that also can be painted in reef blue candy colors probably next week now because I had to epoxy it. So uh, with that said guys, I'll stop rambling on. Uh, let's chuck this tank outside, let's start blocking it down and let's get this stuff painted. Alrighty guys, so here we have, just to give you a run through with what I've picked off the shelf. We've got our custom clear. We've also got the FX hardener for that. We've also got our candy reducer. That is for our reef blue candy colors. Uh, we've also got our base coat reducer medium. That's for the white and the silver flare. With that said guys, we'll go and give everything a prep sole. I'll give you a quick look with what I've got uh, hung up in the booth here. So we've got our frame, uh, that's all hung up, looks pretty good. It's at a good height now that I should be able to paint that quite comfortably. Uh, we've also got our little cap on the side. Uh, so everything is going candy blue or the reef blue candy colors. Um, we've also got our forks here, which will be getting done in the reef blue as well. And we've also got our tank all masked up. We've got fresh paper on that piece of timber and uh, I only put the paper on there yesterday on the stand. So everything is all nice and clean. Uh, we've got a few little measurements which will be... Uh... Oh, sorry about that. Someone at the uh, delivery door here at DNA Paints. All right, so uh, we've got a few little measurements uh, for the tank. Uh, I'm pretty sure I just have to double check off my, um, off my phone but I'm pretty sure that it goes 10 mil up here and then 15 mil up from the back. It's one or the other. Um, basically, the white line tapers up. Uh, white gets painted down the bottom and reef blue candy colors gets painted up the top. Now, with that said, guys, uh, I'll give you a quick rundown in the order that I'll be painting everything. 
So um, everything uh, has been primed, uh, as you can see here. So uh, on the tank, we do have a few little rub throughs down to bare steel, and we've got a couple of little rub throughs here and there. So what I'm gonna do, guys, is use uh, the gray HS primer surfacer. I'm gonna put one nice wet coat over everything. So what that will actually do is seal down all these bare metal areas and allow me to put my base coat colors straight over the top after roughly 10 to 15 minutes. Now, uh, the forks, I've also got some masking tape and masked up the threads so we don't get them all covered in paint or else the owner of the bike is gonna have a little bit of uh, like hassle, like screwing those up onto the bike. So that's them taken care of. Um, everything just needs to be uh, cleaned down with a wax and grease remover and we're right to start painting. Now, uh, the owner emphasized that I didn't fill up the VIN numbers on the bike. Now, they have been etched or stamped into the frame rather deep, so we shouldn't have any dramas there whatsoever. Uh, with that said, guys, we'll uh, give everything a nice clean with wax and grease remover, and we'll get into this video. up the reef blue candy colors so we'll get that candy reducer out at the same time uh, we'll move the base coat reducer out of the way we're done with that now um, so we'll use another one of the DNA paints cups uh, we'll take the safety tab off and we'll take off the little other one oh, I've got it on my hand I knew that was gonna happen Candy will stay in your hand, so wear gloves if you can, um, because candy is a dye. It's not actually a paint pigment. Uh, it's very similar to food coloring uh, and cordial, like concentrated cordial. All right, so uh, the candy colors, reef blue, it doesn't matter what color it is, whether it's uh, blood red, sapphire blue, uh, you name it. It's all mixed one to one, providing it is a pre-mixed candy colors tin. So we can use either the one to one here 
or the mills. I prefer to use the mills. It's a little bit more accurate in my opinion. Um, so look, we'll probably take that up to probably the four. So 400 mil of the candy. And then we'll go 400 mil of, if I can undo it. Oh. Eventually, sometime in the near future, I'll be able to undo that. So we've gone to 400, so we'll go to 400 again, or up to the 800. And there's our one-to-one -one mix of the candy. These can be a bit of a pain sometimes. <laughs> All right, so up to 800. That's it. So we'll throw the lids back on these and um, they're ready to rock and roll. We'll give that a stir up. Almost drop the lid in the candy. That would have been pretty funny. <laughs> um, and that's it. We're pretty much ready to start painting the candy colors. Now, you'll notice on the spray gun here, I've got one of these different filters. Now, I've spoke about these on my channel multiple times, but I know I've got quite a few new people on my channel uh, as of late. So I'll just give you a quick rundown the difference between say 190 micron fine mesh filter and a candy filter. So if I was to pour the candy through this filter, it wouldn't really get filtered. Now that's a whole idea of using these. Now, uh, the reason why we use a candy filter is all candies, doesn't matter if it's DNA Paints candies or uh, House of Color, you name it, PPG, Glazerat, no matter what, all candies over time will seed. Now what seeding is, is if you can imagine all the candy particles are uh, all my little fingertips here. Over time, when they haven't been stirred or shaken or mixed up, they'll actually clump together. And when they clump together, that's called seeding. So what the candy filter will do is actually cap, uh, will actually capture all those seeding particles of the candy. We'll just double check that we stirred that. I don't remember stirring it. Um, so that's why we use a special candy filter. So if we were to use a normal 190 micron filter, like I showed you up here, the seeding will actually go straight through that and will not get caught by the filter. So uh, just a bit of a, a, a in-house pro tip um, that yeah, when you use candies, make sure you use a candy filter. So we'll pour that in. Now, always remember the size of the pot is completely different to the bigger spray gun. So don't go and fill the filter up, expecting it to all fill in the spray gun. So you may need to pull that off slightly to get some air in there. There we go. See how it's filling up very, very quickly. There we go. All right, so I'll take that inside the booth with me uh, so I'm not in and out, in and out. And uh, we're pretty much right to start painting um, everything in the booth. So just double check that we haven't made a mess of the pot. Because last thing we want is a droplet of the candy landing on the silver. Um, that will be almost impossible to hide. Uh, on your first coat, it is rather forgiving. So if you do put uh, candy more in one area than the other on your first coat, generally nine times out of 10, you can hide it with the other three coats. Um, yeah, with that said guys, um, let's wipe up the bench. Uh, adjust that fan, we'll get a reg, make sure our air pressures are correct when we go in, and we're right to start painting our candy colors.
All right, guys, I think you get the drift of uh, what I'm doing here. I'm being extremely careful not to put candy uh, more in one area than the other. That's why I chose to use this Ego 190 spray gun. This is a mini spray gun compared to the bigger brother, the Carbonio 360. Those guns are really great, but for intricate little items like this bike frame, uh, using a small gun is recommended. Now, especially painting candy. Now, candy is the most elite color out there. There is no harder color out there to paint. Now, virtual chrome can be very tricky, but again, that is very easy. There's just a long, lengthy process to paint it. But with candies, if you apply more candy in one area than the other, it's going to be much darker than the rest of the item that you're painting. So putting candy down as even as possible is key to getting a nice candy paint job. Now look, I'm not gonna bore you with uh, me putting three more coats of candy over these bike parts. Uh, I'll jump straight to the clear coat stage right now. <laughs> 